My young daughter organizes her toys beautifully, placing them according to size. She puts every toy in its most suitable place. Through her toys, my daughter makes her own little world. When I look at her little world, certain thoughts I often try to ignore seem to be glaring at me. How ironical. Is it logical that things determine how they are arranged? Is it possible that no one tries to sort and arrange them? There is certainly much that shows fine design and perfection in the manufacture of this car. The car did not make itself, or did it? Here, we more clearly see the fine details. Most certainly, this watch did not make itself. The same is clearly seen in this product, and in this one also. Yet none of these has made itself or has come into being out of nothing. There is always a maker. If this earth, which is the human abode, gets closer to the sun, everything on it would burn. And if it moves away from the sun, the entire world will be frozen. There's a fine balance between the elements and the natural forces available in the universe. Moreover, there are fine distances and very accurate proportions. Should such proportions change by a tiny fraction, life would come to an end. We humans are finely tuned creatures, and we have been molded in a way that makes us suited to live on Earth. Every little part of us is placed in its most suitable place. We walk, hear, see, and feel what is around us. We then realize that all things have been made according to an accurate measure and with absolutely fine balance. The entire universe is similarly accurately made and finely balanced. Ours is part of the fine balance that characterizes the entire universe. Our maker is the one who created this great universe. Both are made with the same perfection, and both point to the same great maker. The evidence is clearly seen. No one can cover the sun with one's hand.